Congratulations on your choice of the Jaguar V8 XJ series, the world's most beautiful luxury saloon. The aim of this video is to introduce you to the more sophisticated features which work for your safety, comfort and convenience. Whether you're a first-time owner or have already experienced the joy of driving a Jaguar, please give your time to viewing the video. And please also be prepared to spend time with your Jaguar sales specialist when you take delivery of your new luxury motor car. This video does not replace the driver's handbooks. Please read them carefully in order to enjoy Jaguar ownership to the full. The V8 XJ series is protected by an advanced security system, which includes full engine immobilization, deadlocking, and intrusion and perimeter sensing. To deadlock the doors and set the alarm, press the lock button on the keyring transmitter twice within three seconds. The direction indicators flash twice, and the security system warning light flashes continuously. The engine is immobilized as soon as the key is removed from the ignition. The encrypted code changes each time the key is removed, making illegal scanning virtually impossible. A single press of the lock button locks the doors and sets the alarm, but the doors can still be opened from inside the car. For maximum security, we advise that you always deadlock the doors, except when leaving occupants in the car. The other exception is when you're transporting the car on a ferry and tilt sensing is fitted. The key can be used to lock and arm the car by turning it clockwise in the lock. To close the windows and sunroof, hold the key in the lock position. To deadlock and arm, turn the key anti-clockwise, then clockwise within three seconds. Press the unlock button on the transmitter once to unlock all the doors and the luggage compartment and disarm the security system. The direction indicators flash twice and the interior lights switch on as a security measure. To unlock and disarm with the key, turn it anti-clockwise. A chime will be heard when a door is opened and the alarm will sound within seven seconds. To disarm it, press the unlock button on the transmitter or turn the ignition key to position two. To open all the windows and sunroof, first disarm the alarm, then hold the key in the unlock position. The luggage compartment unlock button is useful if you want to get something out of the boot having already locked and armed the car. Press the button once to release the boot lid without setting off the alarm. The alarm will automatically rearm when the lid is closed. The luggage compartment can also be opened by the remote release switch on the fascia or with the black headed key with the alarm disarmed. To protect the contents of the boot before handing over the car to a parking attendant, press the valet switch on the fascia and hand over the green headed key. The valet switch prevents the luggage compartment from being opened by the boot lid button or interior remote release. And the green headed key operates only the ignition and door locks. The headlamp button on the remote transmitter is designed for your personal security and convenience when parking in a dark area. With the car locked or unlocked, one press switches on the headlamps for 25 seconds or until the key is placed in the ignition. Three presses within three seconds activates the panic alarm, if this has been programmed by your Jaguar dealer. To turn off the alarm, put the key in the ignition. As a further personal security feature, all the doors and the luggage compartment lock automatically when the gear selector is moved out of park. To lock all the doors manually, press the central locking switch. To close the windows and sunroof, hold the switch down for three seconds. A further press will unlock the doors and luggage compartment. Pulling the release lever on either front door unlocks all the doors and opens that door the rear doors unlock individually. The key ring transmitter batteries can be renewed by your Jaguar dealer at each main service. If you notice a decrease in the effective range of the transmitter, the batteries can be changed by following the instructions in the driver's handbook. 
Your Jaguar has several features to help you tailor your driving position to your personal taste. The front seats are fully electrically adjustable using the switches on the side of the seat cushion. Adjustments can be made before getting into the car with the door open. The seats can also be adjusted with the key out of the ignition within 30 seconds of closing the door. The seats can be moved forward and back and the cushions lowered or raised. The seat back can be lowered or raised and the head restraints raised or lowered whilst tilt is adjusted manually. Lumbar support can be adjusted by pressing the front of the button to increase, the rear to decrease support. When the gear selector is not in park or neutral, seat movement is limited to a maximum of two seconds for safety. On some models, a conveniently placed control allows a rear passenger to adjust the front passenger's seat to give additional legroom. Where front seat heaters are fitted, these are activated by two switches on the center console. Where an electrically adjustable steering column is fitted, the four-way switch moves the steering column forwards and backwards for reach, up and down for tilt. The key must be in the ignition. The convenient entry-exit feature makes it easy to get in and out of the car. To select it, move the steering column switch to the auto position. The steering column moves up and away and the driver's seat moves back when the key is removed from the ignition or in position 0 or 1 when the driver's door is open. The steering column returns to its memorized position and the seat moves back when the key is reinserted or when the door is closed and the ignition in position 0 or 1. The interior mirror is electrochromic it dims automatically to protect against headlamp glare and clears when light levels return to normal or when reverse gear is selected. This feature can be switched off with the control on the mirror. The door mirrors are adjusted with the switches in the driver's door. Move the selector towards the mirror to be adjusted then use the four-way switch to make your adjustments. Built-in heater elements clear ice and condensation when the heated rear screen is on and the engine running. To assist manoeuvring in tight spaces, some models have a power fold-back facility operated by pressing the rear of the mirror adjust button with the selector in the central position. Manual fold-back is fitted on other models. Mirror dipping may also be fitted, giving a clear view of the curb when reversing. The passenger's door mirror can be dipped by moving the mirror adjustment button back with the engine running, reverse gear selected and the selector switch in the left or right position. The mirror will return to its memorized position when reverse is deselected or the ignition switched off. The driving position memory, where fitted, is ideal if your Jaguar is regularly used by another driver, allowing three positions for the driving seat steering column and door mirrors to be stored and recalled. To store a position, the key must be in the ignition. Adjust the seat, steering column and mirrors to your required position, then push the memory button. The light in the switchback will come on. Within four seconds, press button one, two or three to memorize the driving position. The memory button light will go out and a chime sounds to confirm that your position has been stored. Repeat the procedure using the other buttons to store different driving positions. The previous memory will be erased when a new driving position is entered. To recall a driving position, press the relevant memory button with the key in the ignition and the gear selector in park or neutral. For additional convenience, you can also program the keyring transmitter to recall a driving position. Follow the memory setting procedures, then within five seconds, press any button on the transmitter. The memory light will flash and a chime confirms programming. You can now use the transmitter unlock button to recall the driving position. 
as two transmitters are provided, you can personalize each to a different position. Your Jaguar is fitted with three-point diagonal inertia reel seat belts for all five occupants. Seat belts are the most important protection against injury in all types of accidents. They should always be worn, even though your Jaguar is equipped with airbags. The front seat belts are height adjustable to help ensure a correct fit across the shoulder. All the seat belts will lock automatically during emergency braking. Airbags are known to save lives, but certain precautions need to be taken. The driver's airbag is in the steering wheel, the front passengers behind the fascia panel. For safety, you and your front passenger should be seated as far back as is practical. In a severe forward impact, front seatbelt pretensioners tighten the belt as the airbags deploy to position the occupants as securely as possible. Side airbags are installed in the outer bolsters of the front seats where they remain in the optimum position regardless of the seat adjustment. The rear seat is the safest place for children. Never fit a rearward facing child seat in the front. If in an emergency you have to sit a child in the front, use only a forward facing child seat and position the front seat fully back. The rear doors have child safety locks to help protect small children. In the event of an accident, a fuel cutoff switch in the right-hand side front footwell will cut power to the fuel pump and ignition and the doors will unlock. The switch will need to be reset before the engine can be restarted. Full instructions are in the driver's handbook. To give enhanced steering control and stability during emergency braking, your Jaguar has an advanced electronic anti-lock brake system. When ABS is operational, you'll feel a pulsating effect through the brake pedal. Continue braking and steering until the maneuver is completed. All V8 XJ series models are fitted with automatic stability control, which reduces engine torque to prevent wheel spin. Traction control is also fitted and uses the ABS to brake a wheel that is about to spin, further improving tyre grip under acceleration. Jaguar recommends that you switch off these systems when using snow chains. The right column switch controls the variable speed washer wiper system. The first position up is for intermittent wipe. The delay can be varied from 2 to 20 seconds. The next position up is for normal continuous operation and the next for high speed operation. Press the end of the stalk for windscreen wash wipe. An automatic drip wipe function performs a single wipe 4 seconds after the wash wipe sequence is completed. In the intermittent position, turning the rotary control to auto activates the rain sensing system where fitted, which will automatically operate the wipers at the correct speed depending on the amount of moisture detected. The system can detect moisture only when raindrops are moving on the screen. So, if you return to your car after rainfall, use the flick wipe to clear the screen before moving off. The wiper system should be switched off completely in a car wash. The headlamp power wash system, where fitted, operates when the headlamps are on and the windscreen wash wipe button is pressed. It directs two short bursts, the first to loosen debris, the second to remove it. If the wash wipe button is held, the cycle continues for up to 20 seconds. To conserve fluid, the power wash operates the first time the button is pressed and then every sixth wash wipe. It will not operate if the washer fluid is low. The left-hand column store controls the direction indicators, the side lights, and headlamps. To flash the headlamp main beam, pull the column stalk towards you. To switch on main beam, push the stalk away. To promote active safety, your Jaguar is fitted with an auto headlamps function. This switches the headlamps on and off automatically, depending on the light levels which are monitored by a sensor mounted on the back of the rearview mirror. The feature can be selected by turning the rotary collar to auto. 
The light sensitivity level can be adjusted by turning the sensor control knob anti-clockwise to decrease, clockwise to increase. The front fog lamps can be switched on when the exterior lights are on. The rear fog lamps can be activated only when the headlamps or front fog lamps are on. Your Jaguar is equipped with three interior lights and four map reading lights. The interior lights are operated by the switch in the roof console. For convenience, the lights have a 15 second courtesy delay after closing the doors. Each map reading light is switched individually, in the rear by pressing the upper lens of the light unit. The vanity mirror in each sun visor is illuminated automatically when the flap is lifted. To tilt open the sunroof, where fitted, press and hold the front of the switch. To close, press the rear of the switch. The sunroof can be fully opened by simply touching the rear of the switch in the roof console. To open it partially, hold the rear of the switch. Touch the front of the switch and the sunroof will close fully. Or hold the switch to close it partially. The movement of the sunroof can be stopped by touching any part of the switch. With the ignition in position 1, the windows are operated from the driver's door switch pack and individually from the passenger doors. For child safety, the rear window switches can be immobilized and all switches can only be used for the ignition in position 1 or 2. All windows have convenient one touch down operation. The J-Gate selector of your Jaguar's 5-speed electronic automatic transmission is designed to cater for individual driving styles. If you prefer fully automatic selection, the right-hand side of the selector is less cluttered than a conventional selector. For manual selection, the 4th, 3rd and 2nd gears are easy to use on the left side of the gate. The Sport mode caters for dynamic driving, giving extended gear shift points to make full use of the V8's power. To optimize drivability and refinement, the transmission is programmed to select different shift patterns to suit the operation of cruise control and traction control, and driving on gradients. This will temporarily override the sport or normal modes. An important safety aspect is the gear shift interlock. The ignition key cannot be removed until the gear selector has been moved to the park position. Once the ignition key is removed, the gear selector is locked in park. To move it out of park, turn the ignition key to position 2 or start the engine, then press the brake pedal. Where fitted, cruise control is operated by convenient steering wheel mounted switches and the on-off switch on the gear selector surround. With the system switched on, accelerate to your desired speed and press the set button. You can also increase or decrease the set speed by pressing and holding the set plus or minus buttons. A brief press of the buttons changes the speed in increments of one mile per hour. If cruise control is cancelled, for example by braking, the resume switch restores the memorized speed. Pushing the on-off button erases the set speed from memory. Fourteen warning lights are arranged within the dials of the two instrument clusters. Red for primary, amber for secondary warnings. Some warning lights have related information displayed in the message center. The message center displays the odometer reading, trip computer data and warning and information messages. To select message center functions, press the button on the end of the left hand column stalk. The first press switches from the odometer reading to the trip computer. Further presses let you cycle through the trip computer functions. Warning messages take priority over other information. Messages can be hidden or redisplayed using the clear button on the trip computer switch pack. To select a different language, press and hold the miles kilometer switch whilst turning the ignition key to position 2. Press again to cycle through the languages available. and press the AB switch to make your selection. The trip computer provides useful travel information for a journey or series of journeys. Two memories are available, K1 
catering for two vehicle users or business and leisure use. Press the button on the left-hand stalk control and trip memory A or B will be displayed. To reset, select A or B, press the triple zero button and hold for three seconds. Press the stalk button again to cycle through trip distance, range, fuel consumption information and average speed. Data can be displayed in metric or imperial figures using the miles kilometer button. The instruments and switch pack lighting are illuminated automatically when the ignition is in position two. The lighting level can be varied when the exterior lights are on using the rotary switch on the steering column. Your Jaguar's electronic climate control system is designed for your complete comfort in all weather conditions. To switch on, press the auto, defrost, AC, or on-off button. The auto button provides fully automatic control of temperature, fan speed and air distribution. Jaguar recommends the year-round use of the auto setting for comfort and to prevent misting. Press the red arrow to increase, the blue arrow to decrease the interior temperature. The high and low settings provide maximum heating or cooling at full fan speed. In the auto mode, the fans will not operate until the engine is warm, to enhance comfort. The rotary knob allows the fan speed to be varied manually, and air distribution can be controlled using the four individual switches. With the climate control system off, these switches can still deliver ram air, but without fan assistance. Press defrost to direct air to the windscreen and side windows at maximum fan speed for rapid demisting. This also switches on the heated front screen where fitted. The heated rear screen can only be switched on with the engine running to prevent battery drain. And this switch also turns on the door mirror heater elements. The recirculation control allows you to exclude unpleasant odors. Press once for five minute operation for continuous operation, press from the off position and hold until two beeps are heard. To display the exterior temperature briefly, press the button once. For continuous display, press and hold. The F and C buttons allow temperature display in centigrade or Fahrenheit. Your Jaguar is fitted with a fine quality audio system, which can be operated by convenient steering wheel mounted controls. These can be used to control volume, cycle through radio FM and AM, cassette or CDs using the select control, and enter phone mode by pressing and holding the select control. The seek control can be used to find the next preset radio station or next track. Press and hold the seat control for the next radio station, next CD, or to change the side of the tape. Automatic volume control is among the useful features, raising the radio volume to overcome road noise as the vehicle speed increases. With the radio on, press the volume knob for more than two seconds. The display will show AVC on or off. Press the volume control to switch ABC on. Turn the rotary control to choose your level from 1 to 5. Press the mode button to adjust bass, treble, left to right balance and front to rear fade. Turn the volume control to adjust the sound quality. Individual bass and treble settings can be memorized for radio, tape and CD. The Alpine Premium Audio System also allows the volume of the rear-mounted subwoofer to be independently adjusted. Press the Mode button repeatedly to select this option, and use the volume control to set the level. The sound output can also be optimized according to the number of people in the car. Use the Mode button to select this feature, and the volume control to set the output to All, Rear, Front, front right and front left. You can store nine stations for each wave band by tuning to a station and pressing a preset button for at least two seconds.
the automatic memory function programs the nine strongest stations for each waveband simultaneously, simply by pressing the button for at least two seconds. To switch between the auto memory stations and your own presets, press the button briefly. The main benefit of RDS is in helping to find and stay tuned to a chosen radio station. The system picks up signals transmitted on the FM waveband, which allow automatic program tuning, display of the station's identity, up-to-the-minute traffic announcements, program type display, and automatic retuning to your priority program type, for example, news. To select RDS, press and hold the TA button. Auto memory can be used to program the nine strongest RDS stations when RDS is selected. To select traffic announcements for radio, cassette, CD and the navigation system, briefly press the TA button. For priority program type, press the PT switch, then use the right or left seat controls to make your selection. Insert a cassette and it will automatically begin to play. The cassette player arrow buttons can be pressed briefly to seek to the beginning of the next track, or the beginning of the track being played. Press and hold for fast forward or rewind. Press the Dolby button if you're playing a Dolby noise reduction recording. The CD auto changer is located in the luggage compartment and is available as an accessory from your Jaguar dealer. It's fitted as standard on selected models and with the premium sound system and navigation system. Discs should be loaded with the labels upwards, taking care not to touch the playing surface. As soon as the CD player is switched on, it goes through a check sequence for each tray, then returns to the last disc played. To play tracks from a selected disc in random order, briefly press the mix button. Press and hold, and tracks from any disc will be played in random order. A brief press of the arrow buttons skips to the next track, or to the start of the current track. Press and hold for fast forward or reverse. The audio system is protected by an anti-theft security code. If the battery is disconnected, the system will not function until the correct code is re-entered. The code for your radio is listed on the two radio security cards supplied with the car. The V8 XJ series optional hands-free phone is fully integrated with the vehicle's electronics, enabling it to interface with the audio system and keypad and the steering wheel mounted controls. The result is an extremely versatile in-car phone that also functions as a fully featured portable in or out of the car. For in-car use, the phone remains stowed out of sight in the center console cubby box. It can be removed mid-call without interruption. A hands-free microphone is discreetly located in the roof console. Incoming calls will switch the audio system on in the phone mode. Press either the select switch on the steering wheel or the phone button on the audio panel to answer the call. To make a call, the audio system must be on. Calls can be made by dialing from the keypad or by recalling numbers from the phone memory. To place the call, press either the phone button or steering wheel switch for at least two seconds. As you enter the number, the digits are displayed on the radio. Press the clear button to correct a digit. Press and hold to clear the whole number. To send the call, press the send button on the audio system panel or the steering wheel. Press again to end the call. To access the phone memory, press the memory recall button on the audio system panel. You can then either enter a memory location number from the keypad or scroll through the memory using the keypad scroll keys. The steering wheel control can also be used to step through the memory. When you've selected the number, you can make the call using the send button on the audio system panel or the steering wheel. Press again to end the call. The phone volume can be adjusted from the radio volume control. 
and this setting is memorized for future phone use. The audio system automatically mutes during a call. The XJ series navigation system provides a route to your chosen destination, together with voice guidance and visual turn information displayed on the radio panel. In quarter of a mile, take the third roundabout exit. The system uses signals from the global positioning satellites, combined with other data to establish the vehicle's position. Digital map information is held on a DVD in the navigation control unit in the luggage compartment. With the ignition on, load the disc with the printed side upwards. Use the eject button to remove a disc. To switch the navigation system on, the audio system must be on. The mode button can be used to set the voice guidance audio output to mute, or to adjust the balance between voice guidance and sound system audio levels. Position zero gives an equal balance, plus three puts maximum emphasis on the navigation audio level. Minus three puts maximum emphasis on the sound system level. You can still use the audio system when on a guided route. The split screen mode displays audio system information in the upper part and navigation guidance in the lower part. Push the on-off control to switch the system on, then push the nav button. The screen may first ask you to wait briefly while the system initializes. Then the road safety caution screen is displayed. Route calculation can only be done whilst the car is stationary. Press enter for the navigation menu. Highlight destination using the cursor control and press enter. The destination menu is then displayed. To input an address, highlight this option. Press enter and the address screen is displayed. This gives you the option of entering the name of the city, the street, or changing region. For example, if your destination is in Scotland and you're currently in England. The street name option is available because if the name is unusual, you may not need to enter the city name. Use the cursor to select city name input and press enter. The character input screen is displayed. Highlight the first character in the city name and press enter. Repeat for each character in turn. To delete characters, push the up toggle of the cursor control. The last character entered is highlighted. Push the left hand toggle of the cursor control to delete each highlighted character in turn. To continue, push the down toggle. Only the first few letters of the name need to be entered. As characters are entered, only those needed to complete the name or similar names are shown for ease of use. When all characters needed have been entered, highlight search and press enter. A list of possible cities is displayed. For each city area, the first entry shows the city name only and covers the whole area, minus the districts. The next entries show the city name followed by a district, town or industrial estate shown in brackets. Highlight the city name and the district if known and push enter. The street name input screen is then displayed. If you have limited information about the address, use the street name input screen as the start point. Enter the first few letters of the street name, highlight search and press enter. A list of possible names is displayed without being classified into road or street. Use the cursor control to highlight your choice and press enter. The house number input screen is then displayed. Make your selection, highlight search and press enter. You don't have to enter house numbers. Instead, you can just press search to go straight to the road street classification list. This is followed by a list of possible cities or towns. Highlight the one you want and press enter. Where your destination is on a very long road or street and no house number is available, use the intersection facility to narrow the search down to the junction of your choice. Highlight it and press enter. The screen shows your full address input. To continue, press enter. 
to confirm the destination, highlight Enter to proceed, then press Enter to calculate the route. The screen shows Calculating. When this is complete, you will see the guidance display. Drive off following the voice guidance. In quarter of a mile, take the third roundabout exit. Only view the screen when it's safe to do so. Use the repeat button if you want to hear the last instruction again. Most of the other functions are inhibited when your car is moving. Take the first roundabout exit. If you miss a turn, the reroute option allows the route to be recalculated from your current position. Make a U-turn if it's possible, then take the third roundabout exit. As you approach the end of your route, destination is shown on the screen and confirmed by voice guidance. Destination is straight ahead, approaching the destination. After you've arrived, the screen shows the destination address. To reselect the navigation menu, press clear. A number of route setting options give you extra choice and flexibility. The destination menu allows you to select your route from recent destination points, useful for frequently used destinations. You can also include points of interest and waypoints to tailor the route to your requirements. The route calculation method accessed from the setup menu includes the options of minimizing time, choosing the shortest distance, or minimizing motorways. This menu also allows you to switch off the auto reroute function. Choose a different language for voice guidance. Vary the detail of the voice prompts and change the screen display mode. Full details are provided in the navigation handbook. The fuel filler flap is released when the car is unlocked using the key or transmitter. Please check the driver's handbook for the fueling requirements of your Jaguar. Use of the wrong fuel can require complete replacement of the exhaust catalyst. The spare wheel is stowed in the boot with the jack and tool kit. To be fully prepared for the inconvenience of a puncture, please read the driver's handbook for information on jacking points and the use of wheel chocks. A low maintenance battery specifically designed for use with the XJ series is also located in the luggage compartment. The bonnet release is located below the fascia on the driver's side. Gas-filled struts help to lift the bonnet and retain it in the open position. Items requiring regular checks are clearly identified, including the engine oil dipstick and the coolant, power steering, brake fluid and washer fluid reservoirs. The bonnet should be closed by gently and firmly pressing it shut. Jaguar Cars and its dealers want your ownership experience to be nothing but pleasure. So please, allow time at the handover and read the literature pack carefully. We wish you many miles of enjoyable motoring.